Salutations there, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me back here in Vanilla Hoi 4 playing as that tiny, but hopefully growing, Bulgaria nation. So, we're led by Gargi K, and last time I asked you guys whether we should or should not ban the far-right organizations, or just merely restrain them, which we will get to in a little bit once we get to the availability of doing the focus. Last time we also dissolved the military union and condemned the Macedonian organizations, but right now we are doing a joint act with the Agarian Union to make sure we get over 100 loyalty with the group so we can integrate the Agarian Union together with us. Which we get political power, stability, and get more support of non-aligned, even though we are pursuing a more democratic style of campaign. And of course we're out of manpower, which really, really sucks. Let's go and integrate them. That'll be good. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, prepare for civil war. I don't know about that. This is led by Nikola Mushanov. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Very nice, very nice. And negotiate Bulgarian rearmament, which will be a good, good thing. So, here we go. So, I asked you guys yesterday whether we should ban the far-right organizations for this campaign or restrain paramilitary organizations. And overall, there is quite a bit of support for each side, so I had to factor in the influence that each side had. And overall, the winner is, for this campaign... Banning far-right organizations, just because even though we like the weekly manpower, because we're trying to become more democratic, we shall go with this one. Far-right radicals do not hesitate to use violence against authority, posing a great threat to our government and to our citizens. We must ban all social movements of this nature and disband any associated paramilitary organizations, which you lose fascism, popularity, get stability, but lose a little bit of war support, but at least we get some stability and more popularity for the Agarian faction, and we now we can repress the movement, in which... Ooh, demonstrate our policies of peace. Territorial disputes with our neighbors must end if we want to negotiate our military rearmament with the British government. Well, let's see. We can repress them now once we get that done. That's in 50 days. Let's go and do, demonstrate our policies of peace. It's going to cost us quite a bit of political power, but we want to rearm as fast as possible because... Oof! If we can't rearm, we, we can't do anything. Ooh, we're done with that too. Look at that. 50%, not bad. Let's go get some military factories next and then throw some right there. And then eventually we shall build up more infrastructure because we can unless we get options to build up more infrastructure through our focus tree here now obviously we got to get more democracy support so we can do legislative elections and my goal is kind of to race down to get to here so this way greece hopefully will still like us and we get a non-aggression pact with them to do a balkan confederation with greece and maybe we get allied with them so we can bury the grudges of the past because i would like to do united we prevail as well as the unification of the Balkans gains core on every Balkan state. Any Balkan nation allied with Bulgaria will get the event unification of the Balkans. And, and this also unlocks decisions to deal with the Turkish territories, which sounds like a great deal of fun. A great, great deal of fun over here. We need to get rid of the army restrictions, which is good. I would like to get another research slot in this episode as well. The National Military Academy, eh, that's okay. It's not that great. Yeah, this stuff, you get some factories. Historical, historical territory claims over here. War logistics. Expand the dockyards would not be bad, because I would like some naval XP as well as some dockyards, so. And we get a military and civilian factory, and you can produce fighter ships a little bit faster. So now we are stuck waiting to get more democracy support, but that'll come in time. Let's go ahead and do improve the road system. In 70 days, we'll get some infrastructure and a factory. Bulgarian roads are absolutely underdeveloped, to say the least, making communications difficult and slow. The development of a modern infrastructure industry capable of improving and expanding our current road system will pave the way to solve our transportation issues. Which is a good thing. A very, very good thing. Oh, let's see. We have about 50 days left. Refuse army restrictions. Let's see. And we have about 10 days left, which is great. Joint act. We don't need that. We can repress the national social movement, which we will probably do. And there goes Spain. Again. Carlos Uprising. Ah, yes. Now, this is on hist a historical. A historical. So... Honestly, trying to take out the Turkish Socialist Republic or the Romanian Soviet Republic or People's Republic, that's going to be kind of hard. That's going to be quite difficult, I'm going to imagine. So, we'll see what happens. And the Agarian National Union has been integrated. We finally integrated the Agarian National Union into the government, improving the collaboration that was already developing between members of this former organization and our party. In this way, we can now foster cooperation for a larger project with some of the brightest minds in our country working together. This will bring great benefits to the country. We get political power, stability, less democracy, and more non-aligned, but so be it. Now we can repress these guys, deters dissidents from this faction from causing trouble in the near future, ban media for the cooperation, and discredit them. Well, minus five, minus ten, we'll repress them. 
We cannot tolerate dissidents and agitators dividing our nation. The acts perpetrated by the members of this group against our government will have serious consequences. Ban them. Yeah, let's go and ban them first. Minus 5 and minus 10, and then we can probably do some more with discredit them. So we'll destroy the National Social Movement, even though I would have loved that extra 500 manpower per week. Someday we will make sure that we unite with them. Not today. Definitely not today, but someday. And we still have Tsar Boris Loyalists still. And we can't really do much here. Ooh, that's not bad. Uh, the Industry Reformer. Oh, we want to get Leader of the Garing Union because we want more get more daily democracy support. Resources to market goes down a little bit, but that's okay. Max factors would be very important because we only have like four states. So even though it gives us a little bit more political power too, 0.79. Ooh, that looks so bad because of the IMRO. And this guy here too gets us minus 15% political power. At least we got 10% more with Nikola Petkov. Very good. And we also have Dmitrana Ivanova. How much daily democracy support do we get? 39.44, we get 0 0.06 a day. So, it's slowly going up, which is kind of nice. So, 15, 15, repress them. Imprison the leaders. Ooh. Let's do that. Let's imprison the leaders. Why not? We have eight. Ooh, we... Wait, we get that every day? Oh, we do get naval experience every day. That's kind of nice. It is 37, we got some artillery, finally. I can't believe that wasn't even researched. Let's get some more cap first. That'd be nice. Yeah, artillery. We're definitely going to need some artillery here. And yeah, superior firepower is also very good as well. Let's grab some delay doctrine. I wonder who's going to cause the cause of first war. Obviously, oh I forgot. Oh come on, Japanese People's Republic, you gotta win. Actually, I don't want commies to win. Now this means Jap Jap China's probably not going to go to war with Japan, which <sighs> really screwed things up. Oh well. Hmm, how about this? Support weapons one, more defense. Yes, please. Next up, we want to negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. Pressure to lift army restrictions. We must press the British Empire to finally agree to lift all restrictions placed on an army. We'll negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. I think that'd be better to do. It's the same cause. The Bulgarian army is in a sorry state due to the Treaty of Noeli Sor signs restrictions, and we are almost defenseless against invasion from any border country. We must negotiate the lift of these restrictions sooner rather than later, and test our greedy neighbors decide to start another Balkan war. So, the operation to capture the leaders of the National Social Movement has been successful. Police forces have detained most of the important figures related to the organization, including Alexander Tsankov himself, dealing a critical blow to the organization, and we got 50 more political power, and we can repress... Uh, can we raid them? Oh, and Locke's decision to destroy them, so we got to raid them. So that way we can destroy them, and with that extra 50 political power... Oh, I'm gonna persecute these guys too, but we need support equipment and infantry equipment. Let's go ahead and do this and negotiate Bulgarian rearmament. Actually, let's move you lower because these two definitely have to get a little higher first. Actually, we probably... Eh, we'll see what happens with that. Improve the road system. Great, great, great. National railway lines would not be bad either. Ooh, we actually get two infrastructure there. Ooh, do we attract foreign capital? We get more political power, but lose construction speed, output, cap, and growth. Industrial agreements with the Germans, Brits, and Soviets. Or invigorate national industry. We get two... S Factories, we lose consumer goods, but get more construction speed, cap growth, and lose civilian factory construction speed. Huh. Completing the focus utmost um, optimization will upgrade, upgrade this designer. Expand the tobacco industry. Increase industry investments. Hmm. I don't like the lower buffs and losing consumer goods, but we do get more cap and construction speed. Utmost optimization. Ooh, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Yeah, 20% more max factories in a state. Second national catastrophe, more than 29 factories. Or nationalization. Foreign countries that have invested in Bulgarian industry might de decide to impose a trade embargo on our country, kicking us from a faction or even declaring war on us. Ooh, ah. Uh, I think we'll go with invigorate national industry. We've been relying on foreign capital for, to develop our infrastructure, industry, and agriculture for far too long. If we seek self-sufficiency and the freedom to develop our own country our own way, then we must begin by investing in the national industry and the development of new plants. It won't be an easy task, but it would be definitely be worth the effort in the long run. Well, that's helpful, because we do hurt our factories, which I don't like. But if we get enough factories, that won't matter too much. And are, are our soldiers kind of trained? They kind of are. Nice. Keep building up the civilian factories. It's only 37. Almost 38. Support equipment will be fine. Let's see. 17 days, 18 days. Same time. Good. Good, 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 good. And how are we doing on democracy support? 41.69. Nice. 
Changes by 0 0.05 a day. We have three ministers trying to make us more democratic. Second national catastrophe. We definitely got to take out all these people of war. Army restrictions. Ugh, it's all garbage. We can't even train units. New Zealand declares independence. The empire is in crisis. Canada declares independence. Anyone else? Okay, India. That's a big. That's a big India. We'll probably see Pakistan, maybe Bangladesh and Burma. And the British Empire lifts our army restrictions. After arduous negotiations at Sofia with a delegation from the British Empire, we've signed an agreement whereby the British government has lifted restrictions on our army and Bulgaria can finally begin military rearmament. There's no time to lose. Begin rearmament. Nice. Very good. And destroy the national social movement. Thank you very much. Wow. Wait, I can actually do stuff now. This is weird. We can train divisions. No way. But I'm not going to yet, because as much as I'd love to train these guys... We need more guns. And there goes South Africa. Oh, the allies. What did you do? Are they going communist? They, oh, nope. Never mind. They went the other way. They got Mr. O.M. Mr. Mose Lee. And he's also a champion of peace. Did you know that? He has minus 30% war support. Generate war te gold tension limit plus 100%. And there goes Australia. The empire's in crisis. Who else has not abandoned ship yet? Belize, maybe? The West Indies Federation does not exist right now. Oh, they've all declared independence, but they're the British Empire. Hmm. We might have to go reconquering again. So, I don't think I've ever played as fascist Britain before. Secure the Italian alliance. Oh. Gibraltar for Spanish support. Preemptive Spanish alignment. And the National Socialist Movement destroyed. For the past few weeks, police forces have been rooting out the remnants of the National Social Movement, which was already severely weakened and disorganized by the lack of strong leadership after the rest we made prior to this operation. We can now safely say that the National Social Movement has ceased to exist in Bulgaria, which can only benefit the country and its government. We lose fascist support, get more support than our line, a lot more stability, and political power. We, no one will miss them. Which constantly hurts my ability to become more and more democratic. Why? We lose stability... We lose. Ooh, that's actually not too bad. Prepare for civil war. We're gonna do this one because even though it costs political power, which I would prefer to use for something else. Ooh, actually, we could go to limited. Ooh, we going to. I think it's better to get more democracy first. So minus ten percent. Let's go and do that because I want to become democratic much more quickly. Because getting ten percent more support here just ruins what we need right now, and this is scary. Oh my goodness, the government turn is so big, so large, and it looks like Ching. China has broken free. Hello, Puyi. You're still a puppet, though. And very great national industry. Very good. Oh, God. They keep limiting us here. Ah. That's okay. Expand the Sofia University. By allocating part of our budget to finance expansion of the facilities of Sofia University, the most prestigious higher education institution in Bulgaria, we will increase our pool of brilliant minds, of which we shall make good use. Very, very good use. We have 85% war stability. I mean, not war support. We're going to improve worker conditions. I want more. More, more, more stability, please. Yeah, that definitely hurt our consumer goods, but we did get more construction speed. And just 2% right now is probably isn't worth it, but whatever. It's fine. The IMRO really hurts us. And national second... Oh, we actually lose weekly stability from this still. Oh. Democracy? But this person actually gets uh, more weekly. Oh. Do we get a weekly change of 0.2? Oh, 0.7, actually. Not bad, but happy 1938, everyone. Let's go and grab some more research speed and see what happens. Hopefully, I, I'm kind of hoping here that maybe Yugoslavia declares war on us, so we have some sort of defensive war to get more XP, and then maybe we can take them out. Actually, which way is Yugoslavia going? I don't know at the time of this recording, because Yugoslavia was, like, polished a little bit more when the Battle for the Bosporus DLC came out. So I'm not exactly sure what paths I can do now. Like, I'm sure... Actually, I know there's a little bit of a bug here. Protect Bosnia. Divide Bosnia. Oh, de a devolve Croatia. Oh, my goodness. Bain for support. A royal wedding. The coronation. Let's see. We get communism. A pan-Balkan initiative, which I doubt they're going that way. Air Force, Army, Navy on the right. Oh, they're going limited self-government. I'm glad we can see that. Remove Slavic nationalism, and they get a pop... Oh, they're, oh, they're not ev evolving. They're killing themselves. Dissolve the Benate of Serbia. Whoa. They're going to have a lot of puppets. A united kingdom. Guarantee religious liberties. Reunite the kingdoms. Oh my goodness, that sounds amazing. Zara for the Axis membership. Surrender Italian claims. 
Kind of wild, man. Kind of wild. Oh, we're going to see a really divided group here. Oh, my goodness. Come on, get up to 50%. And the next one we shall do after that is reorganize military industry. We could do that because I would like to get down here to get another research slot, which sounds amazing. There we go. But we'll probably do this first because we get two more civilian factories. We can lose another 4% consumer goods factories, but we get more construction speed as well because I would like to get down, well... We can't do this one, unfortunately, for tobacco exports, but then we can do utmost optimization, which would be good eventually. So, increase industry investments. We must develop a heavy industry capable of supporting our great industrial and military growth. Large national investments will be required, but this will bring us closer to our final economic independence. Two more civilian factories, lose consumer goods, get more construction speed, and cap in growth, which is nice. We'll see what happens in the Anschluss of Austria in April 38. Cool. Let's grab some improved infantry equipment. One. France is a piece expensive support. I... I don't want to do this, but we, I really, really, we really, really need more democracy support. And this doesn't do that much for us. We lose some weekly stability, but really... Oh, weekly change minus 2.3%. Oh, shnikes. Why is that? Oh, expand civil... Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, this is 3% every week. Oh, crap. I thought it said 0.3%. Whoop, my bad. But that's okay. In the long run with Dimitrana Ivanova, we'll be okay. I hope. Does anyone else give us more weekly stability? Got minus 0.3. Lose political power. Hmm. So now we're at 12. Hey, we're making a military factory. That would actually be very nice right now. we got to get so many more guns. And the Spanish directory has been annexed by the anarchists. So much for a fall along Spain. It looks like Spain or Spain is going to beat the Spanish. Hmm. Interesting. Actually, what are the French up to? We don't know yet. Invest in West Africa. We got the Reich popping out here. Let's see. Research city experiments. The Poles. What are the Poles up to? Because they, they also have a choice whether which way they go. Poland first. Internationalism. Man. This was like the first like DLC that Paradox released. This needs an update. Oh my goodness. It looks almost exactly like the generic focus tree. Except with a little bit of a tiny bit of Polish flavor. Oof. Wow. We actually took a hit to our stability. Oh my goodness. 0.7. I'm not touching that again for now. Anything else here? Nope. So which means the next one, hopefully we can do legislative elections. We need more than 50%. We're so close. 49.54. We should be able to get up there. Should. We get more 0 0.05 every day. At this popularity, effects are scaled to 25%. Oh, hey, there we go. We're all close enough. So, the Bulgarian Democratic Party has garnered massive support and is now in a position to pressure the government to call parliamentary elections, this time free from the rigging they've been subjected to for years. As you can see, it's green, and we get more political power stability, and we get more weekly stability, and we get everyone, or the party that we really, really want, so that we can do the Sol Solonika Agreement, and oh boy. Is Czechoslovakia guaranteed? Oh, they're going to war with France, and maybe even Yugoslavia. Oh, Germany, 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 Germany. Please don't lose Germany. I need someone here to be the... Someone to take all the hits against Russia. Or the Soviets, or whoever. Oh, look. Slovenia's here. Or the Drava Benovina. Hello, Alex Gerbik. Gerbik. Hello. Hold national referendum. Well, that'd be kind of a waste of political power, because we got to get that. Ooh. Do we get enough? We won't. We might get enough political power before this happens. I kind of doubt it. I'd like to get to limited conscription before we do anything else, but that's fine. Stability is looking pretty good. Germany, please do not die, please. I need Germany to be relatively strong to help take out the Soviets, cause I'm not sure who's going to help me take out the Soviets. I don't think we can take them out by ourselves. And by Soviets, I'm also including Romania and Turkey. So, well, sure, we'll have Greece with us. Hopefully, integrated with us. But we'll see what happens. Oh, Germany is... They've broken through some forts. Holy crap. That is... That is deadly. Woof. More naval XP is not bad. Because we do want to make... Well... Some ships. <laughs> eventually. Yeah, we want a carriers. We've got to get some cruisers. Probably two. That'd be kind of nice. Oh, man. we got to get the limited conscription. Hey, improved infantry command. One. Nice. Radar would be nice. Plane wise, let's get some fighter ones, because fighters are always useful. Alright, looks like they've beaten back these guys quite a bit a good amount. Hopefully they can win 
Can I see you volunteers? I know we're trying to push for democracy here, but I just want to help you guys out. Actually, we could just attache, but we're not going to. Germany. Why are you trying to go to war with the Benelux? Or, you know, Luxembourg? Hey, they're pushing in. I think the Czechs will probably capitulate eventually. Oh, they're out. They're out of manpower. Germany's got enough for now. They are only on limited conscription. Cool. And I would... I would think that you have more, or actually less war support than that, because you wanted to go to war, but let's go and get limited conscription. We got producing more divisions and stuff like that. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Oh, Germany, you're making the world always an interesting place. Always, always, always. Legislative actions, and the Salonika Agreement is next. It is obvious that Bulgaria alone does not possess any threat to the nations that form the Balkan Entente to confront our country together, so we must try to reestablish friendly relations with our neighbors. And what better way to start... Then by signing an agreement with the leader of Greece, Themistoclis Sophoulis. He's not just fighting against us and... Oh, wait. Oh, we can't do that one yet. Give me like 10 days and they'll like us a little bit more because we've got to spend some political power here. And do this. Five. Eight. Eight. If we wait a few days, we can get that one done, hopefully. 38. What else do we want? Well, there's no point in making a navy for at the current moment, but we will need it eventually. Interwar armor cards would be nice. Grab some field hospitals. I think we're probably going to need that. Can we wait like seven more days? Can we get up to 25 relations? Yeah, we definitely will be able to, so. We could also approach the UK, but I want to get this one done quickly. There we go. Nice. Political actions. Promises of peace. Oh, and we're led by Nikola Mushanov. He's got a nice stash. Look at that. And Germany. Germany. You're slowly winning the war against the Czechs. But come on, man. You cannot do this at the same time. Focus on one front at a time. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Just checks. Give it up. I need Germany to do well. I got nothing against the checks, man, but someone's got to be the Soviet's punching bag. We actually have manpower, though. Look at that. It's kind of nice. Oh, they've actually... What the heck? They were at war. Hey, Korea's here, too. They're still fighting a civil war. Holy cow. Guys, just... Just, just like, make up. And chaos or something. Come on, man. War propaganda would be nice. But... Upgrading opti utmost optimization will help us out. Oh, they're starting to lose more now. That looks like they are. That's good. Ooh, a delayed auction. Don't mind if we do. And let's get some mobile defense. Yes, please. Because, good lord, we're going to need as much defense as possible. Just to start stacking bodies. And after interwar artillery, we'll probably go with... Interwar armored car, maybe? Nah... Let's go ahead, 157 days, let's go ahead and get Dispersed Industry, uh, Excavation, oh, we'll do this one, why not? That's a little bit ahead of time, but that's okay, but unfortunately, I will be right back. My apologies about that, but I had to go use the restroom, but Pakistan just declared war in India, which is still in 1938, and they already hate each other, so be it, whatever. Uh, war propaganda, of course, would be nice, oh, ah, Pakistan came over here too. Pakistan is in two places, I guess. Look at that manpower. Ooh, roads. It's 38. We could use more military factories. Let's go and build up some factories first before we really start investing in roads. Because we do get other options down here. National railway lines. One, two, three, four places to get two infrastructure. So that would be actually pretty good. And eventually we can get some more steel and more infrastructure in Sofia. So, Sofia, I'm going to say no to you. Sorry, Sofia. I like you, but it's not in the cards for now. So then I got agreement. Ooh, and let's see what happens. We get a non-aggression pact. And they agree. Good. The Greek leader, TS, has accepted our proposal and is willing to formalize our friendly relations through an agreement that ensures peace between the Republic of Bulgaria and Greece. Both shall cooperate from now on. Awesome. And like I said, I want to get through this as quickly as possible. A Balkan Confederation. Oh, wait, we... Can't do this. It's not justifying against the Republic of Bulgaria. Oh, we need to have greater relations so we can buy equipment from it. That'd be kind of cool. Buy equipment. The reasons that led to the formation of the Balkan Entente are now obsolete. In these turbulent times, the Balkan nations should leave the complex of past behind and unite to defend themselves against the foreign powers that seek to subdue them. Political power, stability, and we create our own faction. Beautiful. The Salonika Agreement. This will finally bring some stability to the Balkans. Awesome. Sorry about that. So I had to write that down. This will finally bring some stability to the Balkans. Well, we'll see what happens. Hey, this were kind of democratic, though. And the Greeks. Ah, uh, the Greeks. 
The Anatolian refugees. What is that? Let's see. Let's, uh, oh yeah, they went down here. Oh, they wanted to go. They want to go to war with the Turks. Oh boy. Negotiations with the Triple E. Now I don't know what the Triple E is, but resurrection of the Megali idea. The Her Her Heraklion Convention was a failure. Oh boy. What are we gonna do over here? I don't want to invest in any one of these yet, just because I don't know what the benefits are when you do utmost optimization, so we're not going to do that yet. We can't get down to limited exports, we can't go to extensive conscription, because we basically need to be at war for that. Army organization, 8% the Anglo-Italian alliance, this is some significant British diplomatic maneuvering then. Speed, defense, we'll probably want to get that defense stuff. What's over here? Bomber interceptions, anti-sub stuff, cavalry. Ooh, I like that. Artillery attack and defense. Oh, this NYP is good for them. Has boasted this Veno, which is not a communist organization, but... Probably artillery, because I do want to emphasize artillery. Do we have anything special here? Propa war propaganda? Let's go and get that first. I want more war support first. Oh, we can actually train more divisions. I know we can train divisions. Oh, we actually are positive on equipment. Oh, wait, hold on. We need to persecute these guys. Persecution's okay, right? Happy 1939, though. It's going to be a new year. New us. Let's grab some more construction. Three and maybe some more guns. Maybe some more artillery. We've got 57,000 manpower in total. This is not going to be a good year for us, is it? <laughs> hey, but at least our army's looking... Hey, our army's looking pretty nice now, though. That's pretty good. Come on. I just want to persecute enemies. Oh, we lose 2,000 manpower. Ooh. When removed, we get more political power gain. 0.3. That's not bad. We have 400 some... A military factory is not bad. Going to do that. Let's go ahead and throw on one more from the Italians. Why not? There you go. We can produce more guns more quickly now. That is going to be nice. 27 a day. Very good. Oh, a Balkan Confederation. Great. Uh, the reasons that led to the formation of the Balkan Entente are now obsolete in these turbulent times. I've already read this. Got to defend ourselves. Organize a Balkan summit. We will invite all free nations in the Balkans to attend a Balkan summit. This event will allow us to subtly promote our ideas and increase the Bulgarian influence in the region of the region. So all of Yugoslavia, Greece, and Albania, they get democratic influence, which gains daily democracy support, acceptance of daily of democracy or democratic diplomacy for a year. The Republic of Bulgaria is influencing our politics. And we can do it once every year. Okay, in check capital. We lose civilian factories and they become more and more democratic. It's not bad. I'm going to do that because we can do it once every year. We want to make them more and more democratic. Greek joins the Balkan League Confederation. They decided to accept our offer to join the League of Balkan Confederacies. Henceforth, we shall stand or fall together. Together, we shall defend democracy. Um, yeah, we're kind of nice green. Of course, that's our color. The allies. We can invite France and Luxembourg and Czechoslovakia. That would put us in a war immediately with the Axis. Uh, do I want that? Do we need that? Because I want to bury grudges of the past. Do we have to be at peace to do this? Ooh, remove the national spirit of second national catastrophe. Renounce any territorial claims in these countries, though. Consolidate the third Bulgarian state. Ooh, more weekly stability again and research speed. Fight tyranny. Topple government against major fascist countries in Europe, the British Empire, Italy, and Germany. Oh, that will eventually put us probably at war with the Italians, though, if we invite France and Czechoslovakia. Ooh, I'm just going to do bury the old the grudges of the past. It is time to put the disputes of the past behind us and start looking towards a future of solidarity and cooperation in the Balkans. We must urge our neighbors to join our confederation because our project for United Balkans will never be complete without them, which is true. Oh, we can do this stuff. I just want to be at peace, man. The German Reich formalizes anti-Soviet pact. Let them bleed each other dry. That's a good idea. We're going to do this as soon as we possibly can. I don't think it's worth getting involved right now. Czechoslovakia has lost a little bit more territory, but they're holding on pretty nicely, so... Let's go and come over here and get some better artillery. That'd be good. Come on, just let me do this. I want to get .3 more political power every day. Come on. We've got to be close to 800, right? There we go. And destroy the remnants. Ooh. Five divisions in this place, as well as... Ooh. Skirmishes against the IMRO. Stability, political power. It's not bad. Five? At least ten divisions. Five are at least in flawed against Thrace and Central Macedonia.
There you go. Something like that, maybe? Oh, we can train these guys some more, too. That'd be good. Alright, so since, since we did that, train, like, I don't know how many divisions we can train. Can we get to four, maybe? I would like to get Albania here with us, at least. Because then again, they're going to be going to war with, ooh, the Italians. Maybe we'll influence Yugoslavia. There you go. Maybe we'll do that. I don't want to lose factories, though. More democracy, Bulgarian capital injection, or industrial investments. We lose factories. Let's see. How democratic are they? 17.7. Is it going up or... It's going up because of us. I kind of like that. I will do capital injection for now. We'll try that. Why not? Ooh, factories, like I said earlier. Mm, that's okay. Throw another one on there. Why not? And then throw that one on there, too. There you go. And then throw on maybe some two dockyards. Good, or, good lord, we need more space here. But hey, at least we made our own faction. How many countries can say that they made their own faction? You know what? If we boost them up some more, we might be able to get them. Screw it. The main goal is just to integrate with these guys. And Spain is still on fire. The Spanish are fighting the Spanish and the Spanish, of course. I don't mind having these guys join. But Prague is right on the front lines there. Germany, are you going to go... If Germany goes to war with the Poles... I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Can only afford so much to do with this stuff, too, anyways. Gun-wise, oh, we're looking not great. Yeah, hmm. We are definitely not looking great. This army is... And we don't get daily army XP. Why? Disperse Industry 3 will help. Let's grab some production efficiency cap. Yeah, we just gotta start training some guys constantly, because... If we don't do that, we won't get any army XP. We get naval XP, which is great, but... That's not really worth it, man. Destroy the IMRO investments. Or remnants, I should say. So we need five divisions in Vlad against Central Macedonia. So if you, against Central Macedonia, right there. Hold on. Let's join this then. Go like that, maybe. Cool. And the Trade Union Secretariat. Consumer goods goes minus 5%. Better economy laws and trade laws. Oh, I kind of like that. Recover Italian territories. Not yet. No. Research Corporation. That's not bad. Let's do Trade Union Secretariat, though. We must establish a Trade Union Secretariat that determines the directives to be followed by the different trade unions with the aim of boosting the economy and fostering cooperation between the countries of our confederation. Which is a very good thing. The Maximalist Portugal joins a... Really? Portugal went commie? I was not expecting that. The right claims the Mamel. Nation in arms. Unified youth wings. Hey, yo, dam. Hydroelectric power. Do you want to build a Gibraltar dam? That sounds like a fun project for everyone to take a part of. Or be a part of. Okay, how is... Do you not have enough against Central Macedonia? What the heck? 39. Let's grab some better guns now. Better artillery. Yes, please. Might cost a little bit more. Okay, so this is Central Macedonia, right? No, this is Central Macedonia. No, this... That's Southern Serbia. What the... Hold on. You say Central Macedonia. Southern Serbia, Macedonia. That's Central Macedonia. Oh. I don't know my geography. Five divisions in Vlad against Central Macedonia. D and Sofia against Mes... This is kind of stupid. Boom, 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 boom. There you go. That's all you get, right? That should be enough. There we go. Let's destroy these guys. Once and for all. Oof. Wow. Look at that. This does not look good. <laughs> oh, Turkey, please don't go to war with us. Please don't go to war. Create the Turkish workers and militias. Man, Turkey, please. Please, just leave us alone. Where, where is that one? Turkey. Oh, there it is. It's over here. Hulk the Deviat. Communism. Factories. Turkish Soviet Republic suggests joint resource extraction effort in the Caucasus. That's kind of cool for those guys. Yeah, that'd be good for them, but... Mm. We're propaganda against the German... Ra oh, that looks so sad. Oh, I'd hate to be over here. But after Slava refuses to give up, though. Just straight up refuses. Capital injection in Greece. I think we'll be okay. I'm going to go ahead and maybe increase relations with these guys. <clears throat> that might be good. <clears throat> oh, the... 
things never change, do they? Uh, the Ceylon Forward Operating Base. Hmm. It's still British Malaya, though. That's good for them. Good for them. Not for us, but good for them. Industrial investments in Albania. Yeah, we could. And there was Ireland. You know what? We could invest this. You know, let's just go and invest in them. I don't want to wait that long for them, so. It definitely hurts our factories, but that's okay. So for us, defy Moscow? Yeah, we definitely want to do that. We get more war support, but not yet. United, we shall prevail. Which grants organization, division attack, and defense don't require territory. I wonder if we can if we can continue to influence them. That would be good. Weekly stability would be nice, but we already have maxed out. Man, Czechoslovakia looks pretty sad. This guy's becoming slowly more democratic. Construction 3. Is there any other way to improve it? Maybe not. Hmm. Maybe it's all for a waste. Maybe it was. Maybe it wasn't. We'll see what happens. On the battlefield, of course. Anti-air. We could get some tanks. I know what we need. More engineers. There you go. Yeah, we already have Greece with us, so I don't think so. Any more research? No. You guys, we're almost done with that. A week left. The Republican victory in the Spanish Civil War. If I must go united, we shall prevail. The Balkans united. The anti-capitalist fight, huh? Okay. The free Balkan states. Hmm. Weekly manpower not affected by countries guaranteed. Guarantee every democratic and non-aligned Balkan country independent or allied to the Republic of Bulgaria. Okay, cool. United we shall prevail. Let's try that to get more war support. And the Balkans united, which is pretty good for us. The Balkans have long been subjected to foreign nations, but now is the time for our people to join forces against the invaders and fight for the lands that, by right, belongs to us. That sounds like a good idea, right? Balkan Trade Union Secretariat, that's nice. That's actually pretty nice. Economy Trade Laws, 47, nice. That looks pretty good. That looks much better. 153. War Propaganda might be really worth doing right now. Hey, we got rid of the, uh, the other focus, so that really hurts us. That's good. I do want to do utmost optimization. Cavalry. Oh, oh, what is going on? Greece is almost capable of assuming leadership. Yeah, I don't think so, Greece. I don't think so. The Czechs just refuse to die. Oh, we could get them. I doubt we could, like, annex them, but that'd be kind of cool if we could. Oh, Yugoslavia. Even more daily democracy support. I guess we really want them to be with us. Let's grab some more war support just in case. That'd be fine. I really want these guys in here. Okay. Oh, they were just straight up annexed. Oh, crap. Instead of doing that, make sure we just guard our section here. There you go. We don't have that many soldiers to spare, so good luck with that. Hey, we're making some more military factories. It would be nice. Good. Good. Maybe we can make a plane eventually. <laughs> That'd be kind of nice. We got 100 pieces of artillery. That's pretty good, right? And that's a disgusting Germany. And the Mexican Junta was annexed. Okay. They're probably going to be justifying on Poland soon enough. Poland first. Okay. So which path are they going? Not internationalism. Between the seas concept. Created their own faction. Okay. Treaty with Lithuania. That's not going to be good. As well as Estonia and Latvia are invited, but... Oh, boy. Greece is almost capable of assuming it. They could have done authoritarianism or liberalism. This is so sad. <laughs> this focus tree, I mean, my goodness. Hopefully this one gets polished, like the Yugoslavian one. Maybe a little bit more, but oh my goodness, it's so sad. Yugoslavia, would you like to join us? Hopefully we get an option. Oh, look at that. 42% democratic? I think so. And Albania, how are they doing? Eh, they're doing okay. Advanced machine tools. It's 39. Grab some more extraction. Radar would be nice. Planes. We can't support close air support right now. We don't have the industry for that. Land doctrine is still coming along. Tanks would be nice, but not super necessary. Grab some field hospitals. That's something that I want to put on our soldiers most definitely. United we shall prevail. And unification of the Balkans. Gains core on every Balkan state. Greece gets the unification of the Balkans. Ooh. If Germany goes to war with the Yugoslavians, we might be able to pull them into our alliance. 
This military offer, guarantee independence, improve relations, and attaché. Invite the faction. We just need more world tension. So, someone has to go to war. Invite the faction. He's already in a faction, not allowed to because they're the subject of someone else. You guys could join. Requires a joining country to be democratic popularity greater than 30%. We can get the Yugoslavians in with us. So, unification of the Balkans. We're going to wait to do this one. I would love to do it now, but I want to get at least Yugoslavia on the same side as us. But, we can wait first. Actually, we should probably get the UK. We can buy stuff from them. Oh, wait. One of the following must be true is not in a faction, is in a faction with the British. Oh, so we can't be in a faction and do that. Well, crud, I should have read that earlier. And we can't grab this one because we need to get more than 29 factories. But, I want to get another research left. So, we shall do reorganize the military industry. Our military industry is outdated and ineff inefficient. Designed to produce current obsolete equipment. We must carry out a modernization program before it is too late. And that sounds like a very smart thing to do. Institute press censorship as a democracy. Not a bad idea. Romania rejects German arbitration. Oh, oh. If Germany and Romania go to war, that would obviously pull in the Soviets. That would not be bad for us to see them fight around here. That would be a very easy win for Germany if they just held the line and did not go to war with these guys over here. <gasps> we have divisions though. Ooh, yes. Mobile defense is great. Let's grab some integrated support. Because we can. We've got some better rifles. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Interwar armored cards. We don't have the industry for that really either. It'd be good for resistance. Ooh, it's almost time to get even better carrier holes. Let's we don't really have the industry for it, but we can still research some early cruiser holes, right? And we're out of manpower once again. Welcome to Bulgaria. I'm not going to get better guns yet because we. I just want to make more guns for now. I think that'd be for the best. Come on, let's get at least a 5 army XP, please. Hey, Albania, yes, keep doing it. Engineer companies, good. Recon would be nice, but we can't really afford that either. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, radar. Why not? Not looking bad. I'm waiting for things to happen. I mean, that's pretty much what's going to happen. Reorganize this group. Oh, we, hey, look, we hit 30 factories. That's actually really good then. Nice. Keep making more military factories so we can get some more guns. Go ahead and grab one more from, I guess, Italy for now. That'd be fine. So now we can make more than what's needed for steel. Great! And I guess at this point, let's just go ahead and grab Mr. Artillery Expert, because that extra defense and attack will be nice. Even though we can't throw it on yet. Oh, hold on. I might have spoken too quickly, too soon. If we do this, we will be out of artillery by quite a bit. But we do save guns, which I do like. So let's do that. We got Hey, we've got 7,000 more manpower, too. Nice. So now we're out of guns and artillery. How great. But we'll be out of the gun deficit soon enough. Bangladesh went to war. Come on. Can someone please raise world tension? Bangladesh, you just declared war. Come on. Germany, go to war with someone. Poland, go to war with someone. Please, someone go to war with each other. This is oddly too peaceful. British? Oh, Britain, go to... Yes, bring Dominions back into the fold. Come on, come on, come on. I just want to get Yugoslavia and then unite the Balkans. Please, please, please. Awesome. Now, we could continue doing this up to find Moscow, recover Italian territories. War support, that's not bad. Weekly stability, we already have enough. Research. Yeah, that's not bad, but it's not really that beneficial compared to what we need. We are going to go down here, get a research slot. But we need the, the one on the left and the one on the right. We don't need this one. Ooh, that's not bad. We get more military factories, bonuses. Uh, we'll grab and rebuild the army first because it gives, gives us, wow, 5% recruitable population factor. We are surrounded by potential enemies. As history has taught us harshly, it is crucial that we build a powerful army and develop modern tactics if we are to prevail in any future conflicts. I like the bonuses to land auction, that's very nice. Why can't we do this yet? More than 29. Oh, we lost one factory. Oh, I'm trading it away. That's, that's right. Well, that makes sense then. How unfortunate. We're almost done with this, and once we get enough infantry equipment, then I'm going to switch some factories around so we can get more artillery, because we need a lot of it. And I'll upgrade these two. Yes. Keep doing that for now. That's fine. 
Hey, you were at 30. Which is dangerously close to 29. But that's okay for now. Someone, please go to war. Germany, go to war with Poland. British Empire, can you go any faster? Where is that focus for them? Oh, it's down here. Ooh, generate war. Oh, come on. Generate war gold tension limit minus 20%. No, 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 no. Champion of peace. Huh. Ally the imperialist uprising. Oh, come on. War support went. World tension went down by 3%, 1 more percent, but come on. Can, like, Luxembourg die or something, please? Please. <laughs> please. Good hospitals would be nice to throw on. It's almost 1940. Let's go ahead and just get this one done. Improved competing machine, that'd be nice. Yes, yeah, so we got enough guns, there you go. There you go, build more of that, that'd be great. Could use a little bit more steel, but I don't want to trade anything away. Because we are dangerously close to 29. Come on, guys, go to war, go to war. Fortify, no, no, don't fortify East Asia, Spain, do something. Reprofessionalize the army, notion going navy, in defense of Poland. Someone, please, raise world attention for the love of God. I just want to ally these guys. Non-aggression pact? Do we get any more world tension from that? No. I just want to invite a faction. We need 80%. Our world tension limit for this action is due to 80, democracy plus 80%. Currently guarantee zero, zero nations. Lower world tension. I don't want to lower world tension. I want to raise that thing. Raise that sucker. Get more defense. It's only 59 days. That's fine. Why do they do this to us? I want to get more defense, but cavalry, army logistics is not bad. This guy would be pretty good, but we can't get that, obviously. And we can't do anything here. Hmm. Oh, look at that. We got another guy here. Another division. Don't mind if we do. Go ahead and train. Would you need to train? That'd be great. Next up, we shall do... Ooh, we can do Latin organization again. That'd be kind of nice. More building slots? That is actually pretty useful. Ooh, government forms. You know what? I'll let you guys decide. Should we do a Garen Cooperative Movement, which get, you get more max factories in the state, which I like a lot, and a little more construction speed, and less consumer goods, or do we modernize our industry, in which you get more retention, cap, base, output? Let me know. Which one should we do? A Garen Cooperative Movement, or modernize the industry? Let me know in the comments below, and we shall end this episode on utmost optimization. So, by prioritizing the development of our national industry, we have experienced a substantial increase in production and many new industries have developed rapidly, although they are not yet very efficient. It is time for us to make the final effort, undertaking a major industrial and land reorganization, which will allow us to achieve maximum efficiency in both industry and agriculture. So, it's already 1940, world tension has gone back up to 69%, nice! But obviously the war between France and Germany is going to continue for a while until someone else gets involved, but... I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let's not build that there. And instead, maybe build another civilian factory. And I will see you tomorrow when we choose our reforms. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.